Hi guys. On this video about going blonde, because I went blonde. I'm a person that has naturally, like it's close to a natural black uh, color hair. As you can see, my roots are coming up. I've been blonde for two months now. Actually, I actually dyed my hair like with blonde, plain wrong with blonde. In September, September, I decided to go to a balayage or balayage or bala 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 bala. It was a it was a yellowish kind of color. I wasn't familiar with purple shampoo, so I looked a little odd. I mean, I really love the haircut though because I also decided to go with being a girl with short hair and I had a lob and I really loved the lob, but the yellow was a little bothering. So I went over for uh, the next month. So I only lasted with the yellow for a month and then I went with, her name is Rosa. She corrected it to a more platinum color, but it was still a uh, ombre. Like it was still black, you know, it was my root. It was my natural hair color. And then it led up to like the platinum blonde. And this time it was so much better. Like. I loved it. I absolutely loved it. I lasted like that for for like three months. I really loved it, except my hair started to grow out more. It started to look a little weird because it was like more black than blonde. And I didn't like that. So I started to think that maybe I'm going to go fully blonde. You know when a girl thinks of something, they don't get it out of their head. Like, they're gonna go for it. In my case, it was like, I'm gonna go blonde. And guess what? I went blonde. So I kept looking up pictures. I kept looking up reviews. Like, I was just really wanting to go blonde. And I've heard so many videos about saying it's gonna damage your hair, blah, blah, blah. Like, don't do it. Like, I didn't care. Like, I was, nothing was gonna stop me. I'm gonna go blonde. Like, I already said it out there to the world. So, therefore, I am going blonde. And I did. I've been blonde for two months now. I think I already said that. Oops. I went fully blonde, like roots, everything just blonde. First, it came out like yellow. Over time, I was already familiar with purple shampoo. I had the ombre, like when I got the lighter color, I actually got familiar with the Shimmer Lights shampoo, which is very popular. I mean, everybody who goes blonde, like obviously knows how purple shampoo works. And I had this, it wasn't very effective. Once I went blonde, like the purple shampoo wasn't working. So I went with Wella, cause I've heard of Wella as like the toner. It was very cheap. I've heard that it was only available at Sally's. I don't know if there's um, Wella at any other stores. It's like three to four bucks, six, six bucks or, uh, I don't know, it's been a while. I used it twice. Um, it wears off in two weeks, so obviously it's not permanent. Yeah, I used it for for two times. I had the 218 and the 211. I used the 218 first. That was my first time. And then the second time, I used two... Is it... I've been saying two. T. 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 Letter T. T18 and T11 mix. Like half and half. I used that and I got... I mean, I got okay results the second time. The first time, I got better results. It, it was actually yellow. It was very, very yellow, like banana yellow. I looked like a lemon head. I liked the T18 alone. I didn't like the T18 and the T11 mixed up. There wasn't much of a difference. But ever since I haven't used it, like, I still have it. Like, I have this full, which is a mixture of T11 and T18, and I haven't used it at all. But then over time, my mom, she went to Nogales, Mexico, and she got this shampoo um it's kiwi i don't know point is it smells smells really good and it's really concentrated like it don't it doesn't look like purple like it looks black it takes the yellow away that's my go-to now that's been my go-to especially because it smells nice too ever since i went blonde i've been using that i've been using the wella my hair has been damaged my hair to get this blonde it had to it was bleached twice my hairstylist didn't want to go for three times because she told me that my hair was going to get to like the breakage point which you don't want to go to because your hair falls out and you have to end up shaving your whole head i damaged my hair and all and at first like i didn't i didn't it didn't really i didn't process things like i didn't care i heard so many people like you're gonna damage your hair you're gonna damage your hair and i didn't process the damaging part because 
I was like, yeah, okay. I've already dealt with damaged hair. My hair, it gets damaged easily. Split ends easily. Like, it, that's just been my hair. My hair is an awkward midline for everything. Like, it's not thick. It's not thin. It's not completely frizzy. It's not, like, straight hair. It's not curly hair. Like, it's just that awkward hair. Honestly, like, it's frizzy. It's annoying. I mean, yeah, it's easy to style, but it's it's annoying. I don't like it. Obviously, with bleach, my hair is not the right hair to deal with bleach. My hair got really damaged. By damage, let me clarify. By damage, I mean, like... It looks bad when you straighten it. It looks really cute when you curl it. I mean, but it stays stiff. It's stiff. It doesn't flip. It doesn't move around flawlessly. Like if you're trying to impress a uh, man walking by, you want to be like, <laughs> it doesn't do it flawlessly. It doesn't like her getting like straws. I didn't process that when someone told me your hair was going to be damaged. And I mean, yeah, my hair is damaged. I don't regret going blonde though because it has been a great experience. And I like seeing myself with blonde. My roots started coming out crazy because um, I've been dealing with the damaged hair by not washing it so many times. I wash it now like maybe two times a week, once a week. Um, if I go three times a week, my hair feels really dead. Like it feels really dry. I try to get the natural oils on my hair to like soften up the my hair because obviously like when you wash your hair shampoo and stuff it dries up it takes the oils out of your hair and you don't want that um so i just started not washing my hair and then apparently a lot another positive thing that comes with that is the oils and everything is going to help with your hair growth so my hair has been growing really quick which i love and i got used to i got used to like not showering my hair so much and 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 I got into the habit of that. So, like, now if I wash my hair, like, three or four times a week, like, I feel like I have sinned. Like, it's just, it's so weird how, like, once you get into something and you get in the habit of it, you don't, you just continue. And if you, like, mess up, you're like, whoa. So, now that I think about it, I'm like, whoa, I used to wash my hair, like, every day. Like, what? And now I don't. And so, that's just one of the tricks to it is you can't wash your hair all the time if you have really damaged hair yeah so those are just, just things that um the process of me going blonde the things that i would used and what was the outcome of it and now to conclude that i don't want to be blonde anymore i want to go because my plan was to go a lot lighter so i was going to bleach it three, a third time but i was going to wait two months now those two months are coming up and i'm thinking of going back to my natural hair color <laughs> Yeah, I'm going back to my natural hair color. Um, I don't want to play around with the roots because I want to grow out my hair It's gonna take me a while. It's gonna take me like maybe a year or two That's just my plan for now, but I'm saying if you want to go blonde and You have black hair or something. Just know that it's gonna take time Just know that there are consequences to that. You're gonna have to take care of your hair a lot You're gonna have to not wash your hair so often you're going to have to use dry shampoo. I've been using dry shampoo too. There's just things that you're just going to totally change in order to maintain blonde. Because maintaining blonde is not a cheap thing. Like It's expensive to maintain your blonde. And it's really hard. And I thought maybe cutting, it, my, cutting my hair was going to be easier to maintain a blonde. No, it does not make a difference. I mean, I guess. So if you have long hair, it's probably harder. So I'm just saying, like, if you want to do it, go for it. I can't stop you. Think about things. Like, think about the consequences. Think about what you're going to have to change. Like, you're going to really have to be determined to do something like this. Like, don't be thinking, I'm going to go blonde. And then the next day, you're blonde. And you surprise everybody. Like, what? And, because I, I know I did. But I'm just saying, like, if you want to do it, go for it. Everybody's different. This is just my perspective this is just my story this is how i dealt with it i hope this helps make sure to subscribe like comment comment whatever if you guys like the video if you guys didn't what you guys went through when you guys went blonde or if you have any more questions because i mean it's a lot to cover everything in the video it's your girl linda